favorite tire shop, Rex Tire. It's in old Colorado City. I uh, love these guys, amazing service. We got new off-road tires put on, so we're going with all terrains, because uh, this is kind of a daily driver. Um, after doing a lot of going out camping, overlanding, off-roading, figured that what I really like is driving far, not driving, uh, not driving tough stuff, it's driving, seeing things. So uh, we want a tire that's going to be able to do everything well. And, uh, you know, yeah, you go to the Ozarks or something, I'm probably going to wish we had uh, MTs on there. But for most of what we do in Colorado, it's dry. It's just not that muddy. Even where it's wet, it's kind of rocky and wet, not wet and muddy. So uh, we'll get those put on today, and hopefully we'll get out this weekend and give them a test run. So for uh, this overlanding, like we're doing a little bit of a build up, got Rex Tire, but this is Brian, he's the owner, and uh, he's been taking good care of me for quite a while now. I, I didn't find this tire shop early enough in my life, I've been to others in town, and, um, and these guys are head and shoulders above everybody else. Best service, uh, they really take good care of you. I've had flats, you know, they get me in and out even when they're super busy, you know, winter time, summer time, doesn't matter. Um, about that. Brian, how long have you guys been here? Uh, I've actually been here since 1939. My grandfather uh, bought the business from uh, the original owner and uh, that was in the early 50s. We're not sure the date on that, but and then my dad was down here for over 40 years and then I came back in here in 1998. So it's kind of a family tradition. We have a lot of guys that have been here with me for over 20 years. Are your kids <laughs> gonna take over? You got kids? I've got three of them, they're pretty young, so yeah, we'll see you what happens. Yeah, it's, uh, Fostering that next generation. Right, yeah. It's uh, not the most glorious job, but uh, I enjoy what I do. I enjoy seeing the people that come in every day. Um, yeah, we'll see, have to see if the kids will wanna do it or not. After like the third time I was in here, he knew my name. And even if it's over the phone or in person is I do an out the door price tax mounting balancing the disposal there's when I give a price there's not going to be anything above and beyond what I've said and that's one thing I think that um, sometimes hinders me and helps me is people when they call around asking for tires sometimes those places won't give them an out the door price and then once they get there, there's, oh, you need valve stems. Oh, there's a state tire tax. So that's one thing that uh, I like to do is be upfront and have everything on there when someone buys a set of tires from us, so. Right, you look this up on the website, on a website, it'll be like 220, 225-ish, right? I'm giving Brian a little more than that, but in the end, it's actually gonna be less because it's mounted, it's balanced, it's, you know, all the road hazard stems, you know, disposal of the existing tires if you want, like all that's included in the price and it's barely more. So if you actually do your research, I guarantee he's coming in uh, at the same or less than all the other competition around town uh, because it's a, uh, here you are out the door, this is what you cut me in, you know, check for, or run the card for. But these guys are awesome. I mean, I, I see them around town, shoot the breeze. So I'm super <laughs> excited to get some new tires on. So we're putting on, BFG KO2s uh, went with the slightly bigger size and it was actually by accident a little bit like yeah I want the bigger size and we're hoping that they fit right but you're supposed to go 285 75 R 16s for my vehicle those are kind of everybody knows they'll clear there's a national shortage on BFGs and we couldn't get 285s so we but they have 295s one thing that's great about this tire it comes in a billion sizes it I mean probably the most sizes of any kind of AT off-road that I know of yeah. I mean they just have so many variants because um, they've been making them so long um, so you can get them in a 295 I mean nothing else on the shelf here you can get in a 295 that I'm aware of so it totally fits um, 
talked with Brian quite a bit because we were trying to make a decision because there are so many good tires out there these days. You know, it used to be this was kind of it. Yeah. I mean, all the tires, I mean, a lot of the tire companies have really stepped their game up because of tires like this one. And I think if everybody looks at this tread design, it's been about the same tread design-ish for the yeah. last 30, 35 years. Obviously, they made some changes with the tread compound, made the sidewalls a little bit more aggressive with the uh, rock deflectors here. It's always had that three-ply sidewall. Mm -hmm. The only thing that I don't like about the BFG, they used to have a rim guard that protected for the off-road. They've gone away with that. But other than that, it's a great tire. They last long, they do well. They're reasonably quiet on the highway for all-round tire. I think it's one of the best ones out there. And then they also have the extreme service emblem on them, which rates them for winter use, which in Colorado is a good thing these days. Um, but has just been a good tire for the last 30 some plus years with some minor changes in tread compound and a little bit of the tread design. But that's why it's lasted and worked so good. I think they, they added some more, you know, got a little bit more of ejectors, yep. siped them a little harder to get that winter rating. I, and again, yep. talking from my buddies were getting these when I'm, you know, 25 years ago when I was in high school. Like yep. these were our off-road tires back then. Yep. Um, and, and, and I've never even owned a pair, but I'll, I got so many friends that love them. And you know you get them all for um, forums like these still got a lot of high ratings. People love them, but it was the snow. You know the snow rating was really what pushed me over the top to decide to get these. Is we don't go out a ton in the winter, but we go out enough where I definitely wanted to you know be able to go over I seventy and not have to chain up or something. Yeah, um, exactly. And like the MTs, which are the mud terrain of this, uh, they. They're not good in the snow. Like everybody yeah. says, in the snow they're garbage. Unless it's really deep and on the ice, they're pretty not great also. So I wanted something that was, you know, an all around good thing. Good. Um, so we're yeah. going to get these put on and then we're going to take them out and get them muddy tomorrow. <laughs> but yeah. I mean, there's that copy all for right. you. And awesome. Then just a reminder, and for like all of our customers, we do always do a lifetime rotation and balance. Just purchase a road hazard like Jeremy did, you'll have that to cover you for any repairs that you need to have done to the tires and everything. And uh, we appreciate your business. Yeah, one-stop shop, they fix you up. Believe me, even if you didn't buy them here, they still take good care of you, get you in and out and get it fixed. So get these bought, get them mounted, installed, balance, it'll be awesome.